this, uh, civilians are, of course, frightened and stuck between the intensifications of the uh, airstrikes and bombardment against, uh, against ISIL on one hand, and also being prevented from leaving um, the areas under ISIL's uh, control on the other hand. So we have also reports of ISIL executing civilians perceived as cooperating with the SDF on, or, or other parties to the conflict. So we are really um, concerned about that. And we believe that all parties to the conflict, including all states conducting operations against ISIL, have an obligation under humanitarian international law to protect civilians and civilian infrastructure at all times. from which region of the world she, she lives, in which ethnic group she pertains, in which religion she has or culture she has, doesn't want its child to be born adequately, to have food, to be warm when it's cold. So I believe this is universal. I mean, if you read all the different articles, I mean, the, all of them speak about what people really want for their lives. On the, on the case of, of the migrants from Central America, that uh, the ones who, who, who are refugees and are asylum seekers will be accepted in a reasonable time, but on, in any minute, I think they should be uh, treated as human beings.